In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play creative mode in Cities Skylines. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can easily set up a creative mode lookalike in City Skyline. The reason why I say lookalike is because, to my knowledge, you won't be able to directly go into creative mode. What you have to do instead is enable some options that are built into the game that essentially give you infinite resources in infinite money and you will be able to of course manage your city in a creative mode fashion so all that you have to do is open the game and go over to the settings or the options keep in mind that this is built into the game itself so from the main menu go over to content manager inside of the settings and find mods as i've highlighted here when you go over to content manager and then mods you will be able to find the mods that i mentioned that are built into the game so these two are the ones that i recommend for you to make a creative mode of sorts unlimited money which as the name suggests will give you infinite funds for you to construct buildings manage your city and so on and then the option to unlock all progress milestones as soon as you turn both of these on you will be able to go in to any save file and have infinite resources which is essentially creative mode keep in mind that as the text suggests at the bottom the achievements for steam are going to be disabled and all mo mods are global so when you activate a mod and you load into a save game that saved game is going to be affected you can't enable certain mods for certain saves keep that in mind something else that you can consider doing is going over to the city's skyline steam workshop page so as you can see here you can browse through a bunch of mods of course most of these are going to be adding buildings props vehicles and so on however every now and then you can find mods like this one advanced building level control which allow you to manage buildings or manage certain aspects or features about the city so essentially it is built into creative mode because it would allow you to manage the city even more but you don't have to bother with these if you don't want to it is only a suggestion that i'm making if you want even more customization options i hope i was able to help you on how to play creative mode in cities skylines if this video helped you please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips thank you for watching